Bible verses about self-love. 1 John 4 verse 19 We love him because he first loved us. Understanding this verse requires acknowledging the fundamental truth that our capacity to love, including self-love, originates from God's love for us. God's love is the epitome of unconditional and eternal love, and it is through experiencing his love that we learn to love ourselves and others. When we comprehend the depth of God's love for us, it becomes a foundation upon which we build our self-love, recognizing our worth and value in his eyes. This self-love is not about arrogance or self-absorption. Rather, it is about accepting ourselves as God's creation, embracing our imperfections, and striving to fulfill his purpose for our lives. Psalm 139 verse 14 I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made, marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. This verse is a profound reminder of our unique creation by God. It emphasizes the marvelous nature of God's creation, including every human being. To be fearfully and wonderfully made implies that every aspect of our being is intricately designed by God. Recognizing this truth helps in fostering self-love as it leads to an appreciation of our individuality and a grateful acknowledgement of God's craftsmanship in creating us. It is a call to value ourselves as God values us, to see ourselves through his eyes, and to love ourselves as reflections of his image. Proverbs 19 verse 8 He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul, he that keepeth understanding shall find good. Acquiring wisdom is an act of self-love. This verse implies that by seeking wisdom, one is showing love to their soul, as wisdom leads to a life of righteousness and peace. Wisdom and understanding are treasures that guide our thoughts, words, and actions, enabling us to live in harmony with God's will. By valuing wisdom, we are essentially valuing ourselves, making choices that bring us closer to God and protect our well-being. It is through wisdom that we discern what is truly beneficial for our souls and make decisions that reflect our love and respect for ourselves as bearers of God's image. Ephesians 5 verse 29 For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the Church. This verse highlights the natural inclination of humans to care for their own bodies, drawing a parallel between this care and Christ's love for the Church. It underscores the importance of nourishing and cherishing oneself, reflecting the way Christ loves and cares for the church. This form of self-love is not selfish or vain. It is a necessary and healthy practice of caring for one's well-being, just as Christ cares for the well-being of the church. It is a reminder to love and accept ourselves, to attend to our needs, and to value our well-being as part of honoring God's creation. Romans 13 verse 9 Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. This commandment implies that love for oneself is a prerequisite for loving one's neighbor. It is a reflection of the balanced love that God intends, where love for oneself and love for others are interconnected. Loving oneself is not about being self-centered or neglecting others. It is about having a healthy appreciation and acceptance of oneself, which then extends to others. By loving ourselves, we are better equipped to love our neighbors genuinely and unconditionally, reflecting God's love in our interactions with others. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19 to 20 What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body, and in your spirit, which are God's. These verses remind us of the sacredness of our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Recognizing our bodies as vessels of the Holy Spirit elevates our perspective on self-love. It is not merely about physical or emotional satisfaction. It is about honoring and respecting our bodies as holy entities entrusted to us by God. By maintaining purity and righteousness in our bodies and spirits, we are expressing our love and reverence for God and consequently, showing love and respect to ourselves as bearers of his presence. Matthew 22 verse 39 And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. 
This verse reiterates the inseparable connection between loving oneself and loving one's neighbor. It emphasizes that love for others is grounded in love for oneself. This mutual love reflects the holistic love that God commands, where self-love is not isolated or prioritized over love for others. It is a harmonious and balanced love that mirrors God's love for humanity. By embracing this interconnected love, we are fulfilling God's commandment and reflecting His love in our relationships with ourselves and with others. Philippians 4 verse 8 Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. This verse guides us on how to cultivate a mindset that fosters self-love. By focusing our thoughts on things that are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, and of good report, we are nurturing our minds with positivity and righteousness. This positive and righteous thinking contributes to a healthy self-love, grounded in truth and virtue. It is a reminder to guard our thoughts, to fill our minds with goodness, and to reflect on things that are pleasing to God, thereby cultivating love and respect for ourselves as God's beloved children. Galatians 5 verse 14 For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. This verse succinctly encapsulates the essence of God's law, love. It underscores the importance of love as the foundation of all commandments, emphasizing the interconnectedness of love for oneself and love for one's neighbor. By loving ourselves, we are fulfilling God's law, and by extending this love to our neighbors, we are embodying the love that God commands. It is a call to embrace love as the guiding principle of our lives, to live in harmony with God's will, and to reflect His love in our interactions with ourselves and with others. 1 Corinthians 3 verses 16 to 17 Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. These verses emphasize the sanctity of our bodies as temples of God, housing the Holy Spirit. Recognizing our bodies as sacred entities is fundamental to cultivating self-love. It is a call to honor and protect our bodies, to live in purity and righteousness, and to respect ourselves as vessels of God's presence. By valuing our bodies as holy temples, we are expressing our love and reverence for God and showing love and respect to ourselves as bearers of His Holy Spirit. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment to support the channel and stay updated on the latest videos. May God's love and blessings be upon you all.